working hard. You're back. You find that paint? Wasn't easy, but I found some, yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Babbitt. Mm, that's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. I'm glad we did this. The wall is important to a lot of people here. You sure manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Someone poisoned you? <laughs> you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so... I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is, the still. And I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. Blech. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Get in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I'm glad you're here too, Piper. Thanks, Blue. That means a lot coming from you. So, you want to get out of here?
is a piece of custom piece hardware. Of We've got a great workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip size, barrels. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca-Cola. Everything I got will keep you safe. Do you feel like Diamond City leadership has been responsible for your concerns? Hey there. Concerns? Are they really fault? Hey, Sheffield. So thirsty. Nuka Cola. Here you go. Real sweet of you. <gasps> ah, thank you. Thank you. They look like they can. Arturo. Got some great stuff if you're interested. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything hand tooled.
the swatter with a little more stopping power? Eh. Sure. Let's take a look. Handmade, each one. They sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. I've got a few minutes to browse. A bit of everything. And tats, whatever. Let's see what you have. Self served medicine. Busy. Prescriptions, Bill. High quality camp. Right here. Buy and sell everything to everyone except this. No sins allowed here. We got small arm, long arm, ammunition.
Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Anything else you remember? My husband was murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they, they just, they just. It's OK. You don't need to say anything more. So we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers, but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know, never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, uh, I think it was kind of a hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like, like sandpaper. Cross your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who 
killed my husband. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah, big difference between an infant and a 10-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two? Should still be careful. I always am. You're responsible for that new code of He's more than just a mercenary. Looks He's nice. a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Lock tight. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. The mayor's office is near the entrance of the city.
The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on, can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Maybe we can reach an agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. Hey, Geneva. Remember, you didn't get that key from me. Now, if you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a permit available. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Enjoy your stay in Diamond City. Now, excuse me. Mayor McDonough. I'd love to talk, but I have matters to attend to. Excuse me, but I'm very busy right now. Need something, honey? Housing per- Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Check out that desk. I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch. Button. Well, that's one way to hide a room.
look at this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. When it's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Mm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. We'll never find him. Damn it, drop the doom and gloom act. We can work through this. What about dog meat? A commonwealth mutt like him can track a scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? If Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son, then he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Need. Get the scent, boy. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs>
Excuse me. Hey, at least it's honest work. Lost the scent, boy? San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Stick to the road, and you got a better chance. Excuse of me. Got a hankering for a melting face? Then I'm your girl. Let's see what you got. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. Lost the scent, boy. Hey, San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's Kellogg? preferred brand, all right. <coughs> okay, boy. Let's track him.
right path, huh? What is it, boy? What are we looking for? Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Okay, boy. Let's track him.
see anything? Lost the scent, boy. When it's stout, one of his creature comforts. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Help! 